this is Awa, and this is your Voodoo tutorial. Um, Voodoo is a healing add-on, um, much like Healbot, but a lot more preferred, especially by me. Um, it's probably higher rated than Healbot, and it's more customizable and very, very easy to use. So, to begin with Healbot, we're going to click on the little Draenei lady on your mini-map, and we're going to open that up. Um, here we're in the Generals tab. The General tab basically just, you know, has all your general information. Um, the Operation Mode, Global Cooldowns, um, Announce Resurrection, Lock Panels, Hide Panels, and um, Filters. Um, with your filter, basically what that is when it says in tanks, private tanks, all that stuff, um, it's just little panels that you can add to uh, see all that stuff. You can see um, your main tanks in their own separate panel, um, especially if you're tank healing. It's probably really easy because then you don't have to see the raid. Or you can see the raid, but then specifically focus on that one area. Um, hide panels. Um, if you're by yourself and you don't want to see the healing add-on, all you have to do is hit solo. And there it goes. It's disappeared. Um, I like to see it when I'm by myself, so I click it on. Uh, if uh, you're in a party and you don't want to see the healing add-on, just click party and uh, it'll disappear. I leave everything in chat basically here, except for announce resurrection. Um, I enabled it. It says come back to life voodoo. Um, you put in voodoo for the name and when you're resurrecting somebody, um, the name will automatically appear. Um, you can search through all the uh, different tabs here on the general. Um, you know, we'll go more into detail about that later. And if I don't, you can whisper me about that or, you know, discover it on your own. Um, we're going to come down to the bottom of this box. We're going to come down to the tabs and go to spells. Um, you're going to open up here to the mouse key spells. Um, all that basically is is that you're going to be using uh, what you're going to be using with your mouse. Um, here I have my tune. Here's my, my voodoo. I click on it, and when I uh, do a lesser healing wave, all it does, when I do a uh, left click, it's a lesser healing wave. When I right click, it gives me healing wave. And if I use my middle button, uh, Riptide. Um, you can use whatever you want. You can uh, you know, do control, or control shift, alt, control, alt, shift, alt, or control, shift, alt, or you could just use your uh, shift key. This is all mouse key bindings. It also, if you have like a special mouse that has a 16 buttons, which is confusing to me, but um, you know, it has up to 16 button functions on each uh, selection. Um, you can go to key bindings, which is next on this uh, sidebar over here. You can type in um, what you want your key bindings to be. And there, it will um, do lesser healing wave, and uh, you have to actually go into uh, key bindings on your um, WoW setup, and uh, go from there. Um, you have miscellaneous bindings. I have, um, this is for uh, your trinkets. Um, if you have healing trinkets that you want to use, you can do that here and um, put that all together. Um, I have smart cast enabled. What that is, is that um, if, you know, somebody has uh, a buff that they need, um, like for instance here, you see my screen is black because I don't have Earth Shield, just click on it, it automatically gives me the buff. Um, to cleanse it, all you have to do is click, resurrect, click on it, battle res for um, your druids. It's really easy to use. Um, we're going to come back down to the tabs at the bottom of the screen, click on buffs. And as you can see, um, you have a list of your buffs. Um, mine, I basically only use um, Earth Shield as a healer. Um, that's the only buff I can give to tanks. Um, and it comes in this little screen that I'm moving around. You see right here, this little box. Um, it's really helpful. You put that on. You put your tank there. Um, you assign it to your tank, and uh, you know you get to see how much time is left on it, how many charges. 
For instance, while my air shield has eight charges left, and since it's green, it means it's okay to go. Um, if I don't have air shield, you'll see how it turns red, says go, um, it has my name, and it says zero time, no charges. So I click on that, and it automatically buffs it for me. It's very nice. Um, it's easy to have, easy to see if you just want to focus on that. Um, I don't raid, I don't, sorry, I don't tank heal, but I keep my air shield up on a tank as always. Um, it's uh, very easy to use if you're not, you don't have to look through your um, frames to actually see where the tank is and then actually give them that buff. You have your uh, general configurations here. Um, you have your colors. Buff OK is green. Buff yellow, I mean buff low is yellow. Buff missing is red. Um, you can change all those colors if you want. And then your rebuff option on the sidebars. So we're going to come down to the panels option in your tab. Here's basically whatever you prefer, whatever you want, however you want it to look. Um, we're going to come up with a really, um, we're going to come up with a huge uh, panel for this.